वर्णिवे शरमणीय दर्शन मंदहासुचिराज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनम विचित धर्मनंदनम विचित श्रीगणश्याम महाराजनी जय ऑल मैटी सुप्रीम लॉर्ड आवर बिलउड गणश्याम महाराज पाथ में कठोरे बृहसन पूज्य पाथ गुरु जी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू इज जय स्वामी नारायण टुडे इज अ स्पेशल डे एंड मदर्स डे यस एवरी सन इन इन दिस कंट्री ऑफ यू एस ए दे ऑलवेज थिंक दैट वॉट my mother did for me and that's why they try to give something as a gift to their mother now this is the method or system of this world but as on this day all all of the children they think for their mother in the same way we as a child we have to think about our spiritual mother that's the true mother's day that's the second point what we can give to our spiritual mother in a gift but the first point is that what he had already given us that's the main thing if we think repeatedly thinking about this first point what he had given us then there will be no question what we can give him the question twisted as what we cannot give him we can do everything for him okay as this uh, as we are thinking about this satsang our satsang fellowship is prayed not merely by the mandirs not merely by the scriptures but the major role in spreading our satsang fellowship is because of santos which run or traveling <coughs> in the time of bhagwan swami narayan even bhagwan swami narayan also did not stay any more longer time in one place but he also traveled one place to another from the that place to another place in this way bhagwan swami narayan also along with many santos and group of devotees he also traveled one place to another why because if he travels from one place to another then the new place people they also came in contact of bhagwan and his santo and devotees and in this way they also knew something about bhagwan swami narayan's method his system his rules and regulations and in this way they also if they have any kind of interest they also become a satsangi or a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan not only that but even bhagwan swami narayan also sent all of his santos not to stay at one place for more or longer time but he commands to all of his santos to travel one place to another to preach satsang's perspective to the people and because of this principle santo also understanding bhagwan swami narayan's innermost desire to preach his principles to the people to give true knowledge regarding bhagwan's true form to the people santo without become tired they continuously traveling from one place to another 
In this way, two santos, even at the time, there was no any particular kind of uh, means of transportation, meaning no kind of facilities at the time. And still, santo by walking, even sometimes it happened that there will be no even road or path to reach one place to another and Santo have to walk through the jungle and still Santo pass jungle without any fear of wild animals. Only with the remembrance of Bhagavan Swami and they travel. So in this way, two Santos of Bhagavan Swami they travel one place to another and according to Bhagavan Swaminarayan's command to those two santo, they were especially traveling in Kutch region. As santo traveling from one place to another, so santo were staying at one place. After preaching satsang perspective, satsang's true knowledge of Bhagwan and other rules and commands of Bhagwan Swami Narayan to the people after making satsangi to more people in that village Santo wanted to leave that village and that's why the next morning early morning Santo started to walk after having done puja and everything Santo started to walk at the time Santo have no such kind of facility to take foods with them and that's why no food, only a water they have. And they started to walk for the another village. They have targeted for the another village, but they have no, at that time, no phone, no telephone, no mobile, no any other internet, no anything else. And that's why one cannot pass one's message at another place. So Santo started without giving message to another people. As Santo reached uh, the another village at night time, at evening time, Santo didn't eat anything else in the way. Now, when Santo reached there in the village, there were only few devotees in the village. And Santo, Santo were informed from the previous village that there was uh, this. This was the devotee who lived there in the next village, and that's why Santo decided to stay there in that devotee's home. So Santo reached that devotee's home, but unfortunately, that devotee was not present in their, in his home. When Santo knocked the door, small boy, not more than eight or nine years old, he opened the door, he welcomed Santo inside the home and he sat Santo on the on their seat and after doing downwards to Santo, that boy also sat in front of Santo. After doing this, Santo asked that boy, where is your father? Then that boy said, Swami, my father and mother, meaning my parents, they went to Ghadda for Darshan of Maharaj. As there was a particular Samaya, meaning a festival there, so they wanted to take part in that Samaya also, and that's why they went there. Then Santo say, okay, then we will leave your home. We'll go to the another devotee's home. But as the boy was small, but still he had understanding because his parents had given him a knowledge regarding Bhagwan's Santo's glory that if any Santo, any Swaminarayan Santo come to our home, we should at least offer him some food. Then, according to his knowledge, that boy requested Santo, Santo, please 
do not leave my home. It is not good if you leave my home because my parents is not present here in the home and if you leave this home then that's not good for me because when my parents come my parents would come then they ask me and if I told that you come here and without eating you leave that home then that's not good for me so please accept some food here is the kitchen here is all the groceries please make food for Maharaj and yourself and after offering thought to Maharaj please take some prasad Santo would become very pleased upon that boy because Santo thought that this boy was not more than nine years old and if he had such kind of understanding so Santo become pleased upon that boy and after listening that boy's request Santo said it's okay we will make a thar for Maharaj Santo were already tired because of traveling because of walking from early morning and even they didn't eat anything else now Santo then self cleans the kitchen and they cook the food after offering thar to Bhagwan Santa took some prasad and Santa also fed that boy after that Santa were doing some katha and that boy attentively listened to the Santa after this katha and everything is over now Santo asked that boy because Santo would become very pleased upon that boy. Santo was thinking that this boy was very good and his previous sanskars, meaning his previous deeds, that were also very great. And that is why he can sit in front of us and listen in Katha. So Santo would become pleased upon that boy and Santo those Santo were Satanam Swami and Krupanam Swami. They both ask that boy, if you have any wish, then if you desire anything, please ask. We will give you. Then that boy were thinking in his mind, what should I ask? Then after one or two minutes, the boy said, Swami, I do not understand anything else. I do not need anything else, these worldly things. But if you really wanted to give me something, then please give me only that things which you like the most. Then both Santos, Satanam Swami and Krupanam Swami, they both look upon each other. As they were looking at each other, they both understand that the boy's understanding is really good really even the advanced level so now both santo would become very pleased upon that boy and both santo said okay we like them in this world there is no any other object dearer than the bhagwan's divine form for us and that's why now from today as you have asked or dearest thing then as we like Bhagwan's form the most and that's why we today give you the divine form of Bhagwan. and as Santo spoke these words after that from that moment that boy can enjoy the divine darshan of Maharaj even without closing his eyes whenever he desired to see Maharaj he even enjoy the darshan of Maharaj just as the two person they were talking with each other face to face they were meeting each other in the same way that boy also doing darshan of Maharaj even though Maharaj was staying at whatever place even Maharaj was at that time in Garuda so that boy also uh, enjoyed the darshan of Maharaj from Garuda just as without internet or without 
and a satellite that boy can enjoy the bliss of Maharaj Darshan. The next day in the morning, Santo leave that village. They preach uh, the message of Bhagwan Swaminarayan to the other people of the village, and after that, they left for the another place. But this boy, he get the most important thing that is the form of Bhagwan. The form of Bhagwan, or to continuously focus one's mind on the form of Bhagwan, that's the described in the Vachnamrit by Bhagwan Swamiran, the most extraordinary means as well as the most toughest things to accomplish in this satsang. And that boy, without any endeavor, without any practice, he acquired these things. So, by this incident, we can understand if we only be success to please Ekantik Sant of Bhagwan, then we will definitely attain Bhagwan's divine form without doing any further or any more practice. Then, after a month or two, that boy's parents they would come back and as after coming back, his parents, they describe how Maharaj doing the Samay or festival, how Maharaj doing Katha, and how Maharaj was um, traveling from uh, Gela to Darbargar or from Lakshmiwadi to Darbargar on a monkey. In this way, that boy's parents, they were describing all these incidents and festivals and about everything. And at that time, the, uh, the boy also describing even more details than, the, than his parents. Then his parents, they, in amazement, they were listening to this boy's talks. But after ending, they asked, how you can know all these things? Then that boy, he described the incident happened before a month. That Jusanto came there and that uh, he said, I offer him warm welcome and I offer him the food. And after that, they both would become pleased upon me and they ask me if I have any wish or if I have any desire. So please ask. Then I have asked, what do you have? Uh, or what uh, what the things you like most, please give me that. Then Santo grant me these divine things, divine vision, so that I can see Bhagwan. Not only that, but after this incident, even that boy enjoy divine darshan of Maharaj. Now, day after day, months after months, and year after year passes, and that boy, he also developed, he also grew up. And as in his younger, uh, in his younger or elder age, he didn't like anything in this world. He didn't even want to stay more in this world. And that's why he decided to become a son of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. Why? Because even after disappearing of Bhagwan Swaminarayan in Garuda, he also enjoyed the divine darshan of Maharaj from Akshardham. Not only that, but if he wanted to see or if he wanted to do darshan of any of Mandir, he immediately enjoyed the darshan of Maharaj in that particular Mandir. Without even entering that Mandir, he can see even while staying in his home. This is only happen because of Santo's pleasure, Santo's blessings. And finally, he decided to go there in the Buj and he become a son. And the name was given to him as Achyut Das Jiswami. Achyut Das Jiswami 
who's become very great Sant of Bhagwan Swaminarayan at that time, even after becoming a Sant, because of Santo's blessings upon him, he can see Bhagwan forever. Even while staying at his residence, he can do darshan of Bhagwan in the mandir. So in this way, we can understand by this incident that if sun become pleased upon anyone, then they have the dearest thing that is the divine bliss of Bhagwan Swaminarayan's divine murti, and they definitely will give to the person upon whom they become pleased. Now, today is Mother's Day, and we are thinking about not what we can give as gift to our mother, in our spiritual, in our satsang. Sant or one's guru or a kantik sant of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. One's sadguru is like one's mother in a satsang. In many scriptures it is also written the same word. And even for Muktan and Swami, it is called as mother of satsang. Why? Because as we are a child, who can take care of us in this our satsang? Definitely our Sadguru. He provides all, kind of, all kinds of environment so that we can grow up in satsang. He gives us the ideas how to enjoy the divine bliss of Maharaj while I live. He can give us some strain to fight against our inner enemies. He gave us, he provides all kinds of stuffs to removing our bad habits and uh, he gives us the ideas and reason so that by, uh, by that divine reason we can acquire a great and good qualities, saintly qualities in our lives. So, the point is that the question is not that what we can give him in a gift, but the question is that what he had already given us. Just as Satan Swami and Krupan and Swami had given Bhagwan's divine form to that boy, in the same way, Puja Guruji has also given us the divine form of Maharaj. Even he had accepted us as his disciple, that's the greatest thing. We do not need anything else. As he told, you are, you are belongs to me, you are mine, that's all. We do not need anything else. And for that, we cannot give him anything. We only, if we really by heart, wanted to give him something as a gift or as a token of our love, then we can only give him something by obeying his each and every commands. If we, not, if we do not do the things that he did not like, if we try to live in such a way that he always smiles upon us and in this way we can give everything to him but if we try to give something in this worldly perspective we cannot satisfy him even we are not satisfied by giving something to him but if we give we try to give him something by changing our lives by improving saintliness in our lives, then he definitely become pleased upon us. And if he would become pleased upon us, then he'll give more and more Bhagwan's divine bliss, divine eternal happiness to us. And as without a son, as Gunajdan Swami said in his talk, there is not a single person I have seen 
from millions of years in this entire universe that who without a help of sons or without a refuge of sons who can attain Bhagwan. So we definitely not attain divine bliss of Bhagwan directly but if we have Sadguru in the form of Pujya Guruji and if by obeying his command if we succeed to please or make please to our to our Pujya Guruji then as he would become pleased upon us then we definitely enjoy divine bliss of Maharaj Sri Ganeshyam Maharaj Ni Jai Sri Patim Sri Dharam Sarvadeveshwaram Bhakti Dharam Atmajam Vasudevam Hare Madhavam Keshavam Kamadam Karanam Swaminarayanam Nilakantham Bhaje Sri Ganeshyam Maharaj Ni Jai